Welcome back. In today's video, we have the dispatch voice recording of when James Madison's wife called the cops on him. And we'd like to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to Fraudy International Operations who gave us this recording. Enjoy. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Yes. Okay, and what's another street that intersects with that address? Uh, Herbert and 6th Street is those nearest intersection. Okay, and what's going on at that location? My husband left myself and his two kids on Saturday, and now he's back. He's destroying the house and threatening to take our cats and threatening to take everything in the house and destroy it. He's okay. there. I am not there. My kids are with me. I am not there. But he is there. He is armed. Okay. Did he call you and tell you he was there? Um, I can see on our ring doorbell, and he's been texting me photos of things he's destroying and sending me a video of the, our two cats and other things in the house and saying I'm taking these and these. What else can I take? And he's destroying furniture, and I don't know what else. He's already put a hole in the wall. I do not feel safe with him. Okay, I'm sorry, did you say he's your ex-husband? No, he's my husband. He left us on Saturday. He, to this morning, he closed our bank account without me. I don't want to go. Mm-hmm. I am, once again, I am not there. My kids are with me. I'm around the corner. He is there. There are guns. Okay. And there's two cats. Okay. I am getting someone to go out that way. I'm just putting the notes in so they know what's going on. Um, I need the cop to call me, please. He knows how to talk to them. He is a narcissist. I'm going to tell you again. He is a narcissist, and he is against cops. I need to call, talk to that cop. He's a former cop, and he knows how to fix things and make things where it's, everything's my fault. I have done nothing. I have text to prove it. Okay. And what's your name? Wow, this is terrible, and you could hear the fear inside her voice. You could tell that she's absolutely terrified of him. James Madison was trying to bury this body cam footage. He did a strike against our channel to try and prevent the viewers from seeing it. Luckily, the strike is off, and the video is still up. He was also trying to bury this voice recording. Luckily, Froddy was able to obtain it, and we could share it with the audience. Okay. All right, what is his name? Mark. Dickinson. He white, black, or Hispanic? Excuse me? He white, black, or Hispanic? White, red hair, 5'10, about 180 pounds. He's going to be raging mad, just so you know. Or extremely calm. I need to know what is damaged in the house, including the cats. Right, you said he's a former law enforcement officer? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, well, I put in here that you wanted to call from the officer while they're en route. Okay. And I've got uh, several officers en route. Um, do you know where the guns are in the house? Um, there was one on my nightstand, but he says he's taking that. He probably has one to two in his car. He might have one on him. I'm not sure. This is the last thing I wanted. And I have done, I'm not even there. I have done nothing to cause this. He has done it. Okay. 
Yeah, what kind of uh, vehicle does he drive? Gray Tesla Model Y. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get off here so the officer can give you a call. And uh, okay. I got, like I said, I got officers in route, okay? Okay, thank you. Right, you're Once again, we'd like to give a big thank you to Friday International Operations. Go check out his channel. The link will be inside the description. Next, we have Travis Hines, who thinks it's a good idea to record himself giving the reasons why he will not be showing up to court. Hello, my name is Travis Hines, and today I want to discuss a legal situation that I'm currently preparing for potentially facing a bail jumping charge in Louisiana while I'm traveling through Michigan my court date is set for October 18th at 9 a.m. but due to certain circumstances I anticipate that I might not be able to attend this presentation will walk you through the considerations and challenges that come with this scenario. To provide some context, I'm scheduled to appear in court in Louisiana on October 18th. Missing this court date could result in a bail jumping charge, which is taken seriously in Louisiana. Originally, although my original charge is a misdemeanor, failing to appear in court could lead to additional legal consequences. Currently, I'm traveling through Michigan, which complicates the situation, since I may be out of state when the court date arrives. In Louisiana, bail jumping is defined as failing to appear in court as required. The penalties for bail jumping vary depending on whether the original charge is a misdemeanor or felony. Even with a misdemeanor, the consequences can include fines and possible jail time. If I miss October 18th court date, Louisiana could issue a warrant for my arrest. And that would be fantastic, so we would have one less frauditor to worry about. And why does this guy look and sound like an AI? This leads to a potential issue with extradition, as I would be in Michigan when the warrant is issued. Extradition is a legal process where one state requests the transfer of a person charged with a crime from another state. If Louisiana issues a warrant and requests extradition, Michigan authorities could arrest me and hold an extradition hearing. The hearing wouldn't focus on whether I'm guilty of bail jumping, but rather on the validity of the extradition request. In some cases, especially with misdemeanors, a state might decide against pursuing extradition due to the costs and logistics involved. All right, so that's great. All you really have to do is go to the court date and don't miss it. You live in your car and you don't have a job, so you have no excuses not to make it. However, if Louisiana doesn't extradite me, the warrant could remain active indefinitely, leaving the case unresolved. Given this situation, I'm considering several options. One is to attempt to attend the, bail, the court dates in Louisiana to avoid any charges of bail jumping. If attending isn't possible, I could work with a lawyer to request a continuance, negotiate a resolution, or explore other legal options before the court date. If I miss the court date and Louisiana issues a warrant, turning myself in to Michigan authorities might demonstrate 
a willingness to resolve the situation. Though it would likely trigger the extradition process. In conclusion, anticipating a possible bail jumping charge when you are out of state is a complex legal matter that requires careful consideration and planning. I strongly advise anyone in a similar situation, in a similar position to seek legal counsel early. Understand the relevant laws in both states and explore all available options to avoid additional legal complications. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my situation. I hope this discussion helps others who might find themselves in a similar predicament to navigate these challenges more effectively. <clears throat> Wow, what a nonsense video. This must be one of the dumbest videos I have ever seen. That's it for this video. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. It really, really helps, and we'll see you on the next one.